This is Juno Roberts from junoroberts.weebly.com and in our last video we looked at capacitors and we said that a capacitor is a two terminal electronic component which actually stores electrical energy in what is called an electric field. Now we went in detail in our last video so if you wish to actually check out that video it is listed and linked uh, somewhere around this video. In this video, what we'll be doing is actually looking, like, looking at how a capacitor is made by actually disassembling one ourselves, right? So, this is a capacitor that I managed to break apart, right? And uh, as you can see, um, we have what looks like paper that has been coiled, right? And if you actually take a closer look, you'll see that there is a conductive material here uh, separated by a piece of paper and another conductive material on the outside right so these would be the parallel plates and the paper being the dielectric as we mentioned in our previous video right and now this came out of an electrolytic capacitor so this paper material here would have been soaked with an electrolyte right so understanding this principle we wanted to see if we could actually make a capacitor for ourselves, right? So, right. So, we're gonna use two sheets of aluminum foil and a piece of paper, right? These two will be our conductive material and this our insulating material, right? So, to begin, we're gonna place the aluminum foil on both sides and connect wires to actually act as our leads are. Okay, so we have made our capacitor. Now the next thing for us to do is to actually measure the capacitance of this capacitor. So for this we'll be using a multimeter with a capacitance function. Now this multimeter actually measures capacitance by us simply plugging in the capacitor in these two sockets here. So let's start by turning on our multimeter. So after inserting our connecting wires from the capacitor, we see we're getting a capacitance of 0 0.27 nanofarads or 27 picofarads. Not anything to get totally excited about when we compare it to a monster of a capacitor which is 3300 microfarads. Okay, so out of curiosity, let's try to see what would happen if we were to change some of the physical properties of this capacitor. So first we're going to change the distance between the two plates. So by using uh, a copper box to press down on the capacitor, we have effectively decreased the distance between the two plates and that effectively raises the capacitance of the capacitor. Okay, so we've seen where if we decrease the distance between the two conductive plates we would have increased the capacitance of the capacitor now let's see what would happen if we were to modify the surface area of both conductive plates to do this we'll be using a scissors to cut our capacitor in half
okay so before we cut the capacitor in half the value before was approximately 0 0.4 nanofarads now the value is 0 0.18 nanofarads which is approximately half of the previous value